2014 mock paper. Okay, so the setup of this is the setup of any other question. You start off with the plan given the measurements that you were given, draw your lines down vertical and bring all your points up. In order to get the green intersecting object, okay, you can come at 15 degrees, draw your equilateral triangle, which is a 40, 40 millimeter edge length, bring your points back and you'll get the intersecting solid. Like any interpenetration question, you have to do an auxiliary or a third view in order to solve the question. It is not good enough just to have two views. You need to have a third view. If the object was horizontal, it would be an end view will be your third view. But because the object is at an angle, you have to look in perpendicular to it, which is an auxiliary. Draw the object in and you're going to be getting these pierce points and turning points, which are the most important thing to help you get all of those interpenetration lines. I've labeled them X, Y, W and Z along with the triangle itself, A, B, C. As you can see, A joins to X, X to W, W to B, B to C, C to Z, Z to Y, Y to A. In your elevation, because that's a flat surface, there is no other interpenetration lines necessary. And because it's going into a flat surface and, an, and again, another flat surface, there is nothing else in the elevation that's needed. So what needs to be done is the plan. Bring down all the points like you normally would have done. Just bring down these two points, which represent three points, and you'll get your triangular surface. On the right hand side, you'll need to bring out where A terminates. We don't know where the line three is going to terminate. Bring down where the line BC terminates also. This will be a hidden detail line as well when you're looking down here. The line four will also be hidden detail in where the surface is intersecting. What I need to find is X, Y, W and Z in plan. And you'll need to use your compass for this. Like you have done before. Take the distance from your X, Y line to a point. This is on the line three. So on the line three, strike it off. That was for point Y. Do the same for Z. Take the distance on your line, strike it off. And do the same then for X and W as well. Take the distance, strike it off. Take the distance, strike it off. Okay. And you'll have the four points that you need. Now comes joining it. I have found A. I have found X, W, Y and Z. And I have the points B and C already. You'll use your auxiliary to help you finish off your lines of intersection. A joins to X and you can see it because you're looking around directly on top of it. Join A to X. X joins to W. W joins to B. And again, you can still see it. B joins to C. And because it's underneath, it's hidden detail. C joins to Z. Z joins to Y. And Y joins to A. Once you've all of that done, we can finish off the other intersecting line. So B continues all the way out to the end. A, you need to have its line of intersection done as well. And C. And this is the question fully completed. And as always, just colour in the object just to give you a bit of perspective on what it's going to look like. Okay, this was a far easier question than the last question you did. The last one was a little bit harder. Uh, and then just for yourself, you're going to put in the other plan lines in heavy now, now that you know where you're going to be. So one, the line one, I've put in its hidden detail line. Two, because it's not intersected or interfered with, it's going to be a heavy line. I've accounted for that point A. The line three. And the line four, I've had heavy as far as it gets to the surface, then hidden detail, then heavy again. And that's it done.